Hello, my dear students. I'm Eva, and today I'm going to discuss with you ethical issues relating to the food industries. You know, last class we knew about food ethics. That means how ethics is related to food. And today we will discuss about how ethical issues are related to food industries. So first of all, uh, you have to know something that is how actually that ethical issues related to the food industry. There are some points by which we will discuss in our this session that how ethical issues are related to the food industries. First of all, principles, then methods of production and distribution, different marketing issues, and it is an example of marketing issues, that is marketing of breast milk substitute, then fair trade and trade justice issues with uh, environmental uh, sanitation and environmental policy and how we satisfy our consumer or what are the rules and regulations that we have to maintain for our consumer. So now we'll start our discussion that first of all, uh, principles. So what kinds of principles we have to follow? In that case, it is very important one thing but that is you have to review all aspects of the food industry and including the conditions in which animals are reared if it is a meat industry and if uh, it is a uh, crops growing industry or if it is a uh, flour mills and it's uh, just um, grow its own crops then in which way crops are grown then if it is a food processing industry, so it's very important to check that food is processed and products are marketed, how it's happened. So all the aspects that from production to distribution, all of the things you have to follow in industries. With that, another important criteria is the relationship among the producer, processor, retailer and consumer. That whole relationship a, a will be a bonding okay that will produce the product will process the product and who sell the products and who are buying the products okay this relation will be a bonding and we have to ensure that this relationship will be good if this relation will be good then it's very easier to maintain the ethical views in all of the aspects and another important thing that is mentioned in case of food industrial ethics, that is uh, food industrial not just uh, profit from its uh, selling product, okay? It's also uh, will be some contribution to the society. It helps to the people to uh, in employment, okay? It also sponsors different kinds of program, okay? So these are more important things that we have to follow that uh, how the foods is grown or market, marketed with the relationship among the all people of different area uh, who are related with the food industries and we have also uh, take care about the contribution of that to the society okay that that industry that it will be positive or negative it will be positive contribution we know if it is like that it's helped employment it's sponsored by different, different kinds of program and it's just develop the area then it will be positive contribution but if any food industry didn't do that that uh, actually is just uh, earn the profit from its selling product and it's also detrimental effect of consumer and due to this food industry, actually the retailer also affected. So it will be a negative contribution to the society. And our uh, next one, that is methods of production and distribution. So how we can actually check that, how we can follow the ethical rules in case of production distribution. So for that, we have to actually um, uh, here some issues for example now I will say that what kinds of issues we have to uh, follow actually one of them is uh, a hygiene and quality control and health and safety consideration are of great importance that means whenever you produce your product it's very important you will maintain the hygiene you maintain the quality with the health and safety of the consumer and now we'll bring some examples 
<coughs> sorry related to the issues for example if it is a meat product industry that animal welfare will be good and uh, another important thing if is a, if it is a processed industry so they will take care about that they didn't they don't use any kind of uh, child or bonded labor or they uh, they will not use uh, any kinds of uh, any immigrants in their industry why because whenever a uh, child or immigrant illegal immigrant actually work uh, work in a food industry they never get their proper payment okay why because as uh, they are illegal or their child they don't argue for their uh, for their payment okay and for that reason uh, it just said that according to international labor organization if you use them you there is a benchmark give their appropriate payment otherwise you use normal people who are actually used as labor with that we can also think like that improper use of pesticides antibiotics and other chemicals these issues we have to take care with the misuse of water resources and if uh, any food industry mixes with the water resources then what happen there will be great impact on the local farmers at that time they will not get the proper water whenever they are going to farming then soil degradation and other environmental damage to the land okay uh, it can be like uh, some food industries actually uh, just uh, release their different kinds of uh, wastes uh, before they before they treated any any way with the, their biological treatment or came before any chemical treatment that will be helpful for the soil they just uh, release their wastes with the, all of the chemicals that are used in their industry so uh, after that the soil is degraded actually and uh, the land has so much suffer for that so and with the farmer and they cannot grow crops there properly so we have to take care about them and another important thing that many of the food industry actually use different kinds of imported agricultural materials and uh, for that reason what happen it actually uh, in increase high transport costs and whenever it high transport costs it will affect the environment okay how it will uh, just release carbon emissions then one important thing that is growing genetically modified crops if any industry grow genetically modified crops that they have to maintain all of the ethical issues in case of growing modified crops genetically modified crops okay so uh, that was our uh, some examples of that we can follow in case of our production and distribution again in case of marketing issue so how we can maintain the ethics in marketing issue actually uh, we can uh, just take care of marketing issue how that is um, food industries always just emphasize on their financial uh, success rather than the healthy one so in case of marketing issue a if they maintain with the successful marketing of the product with the healthier one that will be ethical so if we go for example that like that marketing campaign that could in case obesity we have to reduce them then packaging that leads to excess purchases with implications for obesity for example we give different kinds of offer there or in case of child we give uh, different kinds of toys there especially in a chocolate product which is not so much healthy so we have to take care of the issues then wasteful over packaging then uh it can be uh like uh, i already mentioned that promoting chocolates and other confectioner product with that another important thing in case of uh, different kinds of unhealthy uh, chocolates or unhealthy chips they always offer some sports equipment or the equipment that is necessary for their breeding actually like scales pencil box okay and uh, for that reason for getting that equipment they always buy that product more and more we have to just uh, remove this kind so we have to avoid this kinds of choices so uh, and with that um, uh, uh, some example can be misleading information 
okay uh, that is uh, you were using one kind of unhealthy color in your food but you uh, just uh, didn't mention you were labeling that your your product is now in market but you didn't mention that okay so it will be misleading information uh, another uh, can be uh, whenever you were going any university or colleges you can check that there are different kinds of vending machines okay and most of them is soap drinks vending machines it's a very common it's also present in every university it's also is no soap drinks is not so much healthy for you your body okay so it uh, can be another negative point so um, the food industries also can take care in that issues okay and with that now we will read an example of a specific thing in case of marketing what kinds of things we can follow in case of marketing of breast milk substitute as you know that there are lots of breast milk substitute is available in the market okay and in ethical consideration they have to follow some rules and regulation okay and what will be they uh first of all they must written uh, in their uh, body of the packaging that um, there is no substitute of mother milk is mandatory in bangladesh and after that they uh, they also uh, write something or follow some rules and regulation and they are mostly international code that is actually maintained for breast for preparing any breast milk substitute what are they uh, if it is a developed countries the it is found if the breast milk substitute is found in developed countries then it must maintain the local regulation as their local regulation is so much strong and if it is a developing country it will first one is developed that means it, it can be america it can be europe so their local codes and regulation for quality control must be maintained but if it is a developing country if they maintain the international code as most of the uh, developing countries uh, quality control system are not uh, so much improved or uh, not so much qualityful that uh, they always maintain okay so for developing countries it say that they have to maintain international code and in case of developed countries they maintain the local codes with that um one thing again important that management system they ensure that the international code is maintained and another important thing that audit system must be presented in industry why to monitor their management work properly or not okay and uh there will be another thing if there is any allegation came from come from any food industries then uh, they have to take it positively that we have to change that either any kinds of case or any kinds of uh, sufferings that they will take that uh, allegations and they work on positively so in case of uh, breast milk substituted we just give an example if this example we just see we can also give that example for a food industry like a soft drink industry or we can also give an example for a bakery or the um, any any kinds of beverages or water uh, water producing industry anything just these kinds of marketing issues they have to follow it's just an example for your understanding and our uh, then our next one is fair trade and trade justice issues you already know about what is that uh, i just emphasize today some specific point some uh, for example whenever any sustainable growth strategy we can uh, just uh, see any of the economy that means there is a good relationship among all the parties how that is owner lenders employees suppliers customer clients and the local wider community that means now economy will growing that means all of the bonding is now strong and all are interconnected with each other and for getting that we have we can do some we can we can do or take some steps how it is 
like for guarantee a fair price in especially in developing um, developing countries uh, we can uh, involve the production and the, uh, the selling in a, a same row okay the production will be in ethical manner and the farmer will be will get the fairly price if it is happened that what happened it will be positive contribution to the society when farmer will be benefited your growth of the community will be higher okay because the now the poor uh, poor person of your community is getting appropriate price and their living standard will be higher and for that reason we what we can do we can adopt some program to support pro, uh, to support our farmers okay and how we uh, we can arrange a fair there we can just invite our consumers okay we can invite our consumer as they can buy their product from there so they will get the extra money the farmer will get the extra money and it will be benefited for the society and for their family and it will be positive contribution but there are some negative contribution we also check in uh, our now in our community too how it is because uh, different kinds of offers are actually given by the supermarket when the offers are given by the supermarket then uh, the farmers will not get the appropriate price because all consumers go to the supermarket and they will buy the price from that market and now it is not beneficial for the farmer it is beneficial for the owner of the supermarket so it is a negative contribution to the society uh, then uh, another important thing that is uh, driving down prices for the consumer okay how it is actually it's also related the uh, that actually uh, on, and that related with the offer how um, Whenever any supermarket will offer you different kinds of benefit, like uh, your different products will uh, will be sold in lower price, but it will be benefited for the rich consumer who can actually go to the supermarket. But normal consumer, um, it mostly sixty percent, seventy percent of the consumer cannot go to the supermarket. They buy the product from the normal market. Okay. So what happened there? So some labor or some poor people, poor farmers who, who can be benefited or who can uh, sell their product or poor people who can buy their product in a, uh, in a decrease uh, in a lower price, they cannot buy them there. So uh, it is not will be ethical. Your offer will be like that, that will be beneficial for all. And uh, then our uh, another important thing is we have to just give respect all trade justice issues and avoid on lobbying activity. Okay, and for example, uh, whenever we buy different product, we use a, uh, a lobber. How it is? How we that uh, he uh, just uh, buy the product from the farmer and then sell the product in a higher price to the another third party so we have to avoid the third party we have to what we have to do in marketing cases or in fair trade justice in marketing we already say that we have to uh, check uh, that no unhealthy criteria is added and in case of fair trade we have to check that um, that no lobbyist will be there and the uh, owner of the company will buy the product directly from the farmer so and this way owner will get the appropriate or ethically sound or safe product and farmer will get their prices so both parties will be benefited and fair trade and trade justice issues will be established there okay so uh, then our sixth one is environment what is environment and what kinds of issues you have to follow there that is adoption of environmental policy all environmental policy that is actually applicable um, uh, you have to adopt that your industry have to adopt that with that uh, there will be limitation of use antibiotic pesticide and herbicide and uh, the policies will also emphasize that reduce the company's carbon emissions okay 
in that point these, these will be also uh, important uh, for the food industry that they have to follow uh, then uh, also something that is uh, policies have to follow that support the biodiversity and avoidance of bad practices uh, like destruction of original forests to make their food industries then uh, they have also respect to traditional tenure practices and the rights of small farmers okay they cannot do any kinds of that as you already read in your production soil degradation that is also important point of environment okay and another thing is awareness of the problems of producing unwanted foodstuffs and consequent of waste product they always say about that aware that they will not produce any unwanted product there and our last of all that is consumer in case of consumer some rules uh, and regulation the food industries have to follow for example what are they it is actually given by seven ethical issues by european consumer mm, uh, they focus on that what is they that what are they that is the safety of food the quality of the food the healthiness of the food with that issue with uh, issues related to animal welfare as you already know that how you animal reared or slaughtering practices import or export of uh, animal products that impact of food production on the quality of the landscape the environmental effects of food production and the fair treatment of farmers that is the consumer focuses the same issue that we already discussed okay so if we maintain that free issues regularly in our food industries then the safety quality and healthiness of food will be already maintained so that are the issues that actually we have to maintain in our food industries and that's for all thank you